Look, I don't want to say that there will be no policy changes because obviously it will be up to the new president and to their foreign policy team to make decisions like that. From my perspective, though, I think it's really important to remember that the U.S. Malaysia relationship has improved dramatically in recent years, and it hasn't just been because of sort of policy decisions. It's been also a reflection of the really, I think, strong ties between our countries, the people-to-people -people relationship, and the interests um, that have driven us on both sides. And I'm very confident that the importance of Asia to the United States is not going to change. The importance of Southeast Asia to the United States is not going to change. The importance of Malaysia within Southeast Asia, in the broader region, and obviously bilateral in the United States is not going to change. So I'm very confident that we will continue to see <clears throat> a strong relationship, that we will continue to see engagement. There will undoubtedly be twists and turns in the relationship. There will undoubtedly be some changes that come as a result of the new team that takes office in Washington. But I think the underlying fundamentals are very unlikely to change. Hi, uh, lady from the well, I think that first of all, I think it's very important to, to recognize that the you know, United States has one president at a time, um, and so President Obama has said that he's very committed to get, have, passing the Trans-Pacific Partnership um, in his time in office. Uh, I think that the second thing is that you know there are obviously very differing views within the United States on trade, um, and that th those views will play out in the, uh, you know, both in the results of this election as well as what happens in our Senate, what happens in the House. Uh, and I think that we will see it play out. This, I think it's important to take a step back and to recognize that the United States benefits tremendously from trade, um, that there are differing views about what the costs are, what the trade-offs are, and that we have a process in place right now through these elections that allow us to work that out. That said, uh, you know, I think the president's, President Obama's commitment to TPP and to trying to move it in the coming, um, in the time that he has left in office is very clear, and we'll just have to see what happens. There is a new president who would be better for Malaysia than Trump. Uh, Look, that it would be spectacularly inappropriate for me to comment on. It. <laughs> um, I am a career diplomat, and you know, we I will serve faithfully and loyally wh whoever the president is. Um, I think that regardless of what happens, like I said, the relationship. I think our estimate is that there are about uh, seven thousand Americans who live in Malaysia. How many of them actually? I mean, first of all, all of them would have to vote absentee or do early voting in their own states. Voting in the United States is, a, is done at the state level. Um, so they wouldn't vote at the embassy, so we wouldn't necessarily, I mean, we, we definitely wouldn't know, in fact, you know, how many voters there are and how, and how many actually voted. Um, that said, I think our estimate is that there are about 7,000 Americans who live in Malaysia on a permanent basis. All right, thank you. Well, I would just add a couple of very quick things. Um, I think the, the first thing is just, you know, it is remarkable how much Malaysians have been interested in this election. Everywhere I've gone, everywhere my colleagues at the embassy have gone, in I would say the past six months, but in many ways the past year, we have had so many questions about it. And I think that it really does reflect something very positive about the relationship, which is this isn't just a relationship between leaders, it's not just a relationship between governments, it's not just a relationship between businesses, it is a relationship between peoples, and that's something that we're working very hard to promote. We really want to see more Malaysians go to the United States, have more, Malays more Americans come here. We think there's no better way for our two countries to work together. And the interest in this election, I think, is just a reflection of the really broad and deep interest in the United States here. And we at the embassy are very proud to be able to help support that. And we're always looking for ways to do more and to do it better. And we really look forward to working closely with our Malaysian friends as we try and chart a path going forward. Awesome. Okay, thank you.